Hey, Shadow Maker of Masks here. Uh, before I demold Ghost, I just want to show you a new mask I made. Uh, don't have a name for this guy yet. If you have any suggestions, I am open to them. Um, just sculpted this guy because I was pretty much bored. Um, it's kind of the opposite of a uh, crater face. So I can dig it. Um, any suggestions? Let me know, and next we're going to be demolding the ghost. Hey, Shadow Maker of Masks, we've got the mold dry, so this should be good. We will now be demolding the ghosts, just making sure there aren't any wet spots. Perfect. Always check for wet spots because if you have any wet spots in your mask, then uh, it might not come out the way you want. Alright. All right, sorry you can't see very well. Uh, can't, I don't have a uh, tripod or anything to keep this guy up, so I'm gonna try and move him in view. There we go, that should be a little better. And now we'll be debolding Ghost. What you wanna do first is you wanna run your hand along the seam line to make sure that uh, he doesn't get stuck in the mold. So you just carefully peel that off very slowly, all the way around. This might take a little while, so you can fast forward if you desire. Alright, looking good. Alright, I'm going to head on over to the other side and meet it halfway. And as soon as I get the seam line undone, I'll be able to open the mold and just pull the sucker right out. Uh, right. Just about got it. And there we go. Alright, now that I've done the seam line, uh, I can pull this guy right out of the mold. Oh geez, that is heavy. Uh, crap. Didn't plan very well. Didn't work with this. Uh. Alrighty then. Hope you can see that. Gently. Now we've got the front, so we definitely want to just peel slow, make sure we don't damage the mold itself. Good so far. And here we are. One second, just checking to make sure everything's okay. Alright, and we've got Ghost. Wish I had a pedestal nearby or something I could show you this guy, but uh, I don't have anything I could put him on, so I'll just have to show you by hand. That's the seam line right there. Came out pretty well. So yeah, this is Ghost. Very happy with how this guy came out. I'll be uh, cleaning him up so I can wear him. And that'll be that. We just cut out the frame for ghosts. So here are both of the molds. As soon as I get a chance, I'm gonna uh, make a second copy. So what I'll probably be doing now is um, putting the frames in the mold so um, the mask uh, can keep its shape. That's more important than anything right now to me. So this is Ghost uh, laying on his back. 
came out pretty well, but uh, like unlike most latex masks, this guy needs actually uh, some support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some cardboard and uh, lace the inside walls with uh, cardboard. So when you put them on, um, it won't lose its shape to a human head. So um, I'll do that for the rest of the day and then give an update when I'm going to airbrush this guy. Um, that'll be tomorrow. Decide, show you how well he came out of the mold, and uh, yeah, look out for Ghost Part Six.